I think, I think it's a rubberized Look, undercoating. Wheels that's... turn this way, right? And Did it they? flicks back this way. Yeah. Physics. All right, guys, today we're going to talk about Leo's collection. I'm actually in Kansas right now. Flew all the way here to hang out with my amazing friend Leo right there. I'm going to show you his quick collection of these amazing BMW E34 series, 5 Series Beamers. He's got three of them at the moment, and each one of them has, like, a different story and all that. But, um, I mean, I'd be happy to talk about that and uh, just share our... Uh, you know thoughts and everything because we love amazing old school machines especially euro machines so this is leo's main daily driver this is a 1994 bmw 525i he's had it for about a few years and he's been doing a lot of work to this car uh he's done uh we're currently replacing the master cylinder on it and the hose i'm gonna bleed the master or the clutch system but he's done a bunch of like brake work and engine stuff on on this car and the uh, new radiator and all that it's He's put a lot of love into this car and it's been his, his daily driving. He's been driving it to so many different places and all that. And uh, honestly, it's a really, really cool, unique color. I really love this thing a lot. And uh, yeah, today I'm just helping him uh, with getting this car back on the road. Because what happened is like the, the clutch pedal went to the floor and it was, he, was, he tried bleeding it. It went, it was a little better, but then the clutch pedal went to the floor again. And, you know, we just decided to replace the master, the slave cylinder and then master cylinder and the hose and uh we're gonna bleed it and it should be all back to life after that but yeah pretty cool amazing machine and especially that it's dark green color really like it next one is uh 1993 right or 1994 These are both 94, so 94 yeah yep 94 530 uh this is leo's car that's had for so many years actually since like 2017 and you know it's seen uh, better days but leo is slowly restoring this car is doing a lot of work to it uh he started doing a lot of welding recently and um yeah this car needs love but leo is just such an amazing owner that he never gives up and uh, that's what i like about leo's approach to cars he started doing uh redoing the braking system on this car and everything and uh it's gonna be really nice to when it's all done and you know you can't give up on these amazing machines they don't make them like they used to you know um yeah thank you for killing the bug leo i appreciate that uh, but um yeah this one's a stick shift too and there's a there's a story about this car as well uh what was the story leo did you have the uh all right enough ah uh, mosquitoes, mosquitoes yeah thank you thank you yeah so what is the story leo yeah before you spray me again with this <laughs> yeah so uh this engine i remember like you had this engine out you did a lot of stuff it's to the, it and... this is the original engine that i had when i bought it mm -hmm. i put two 4.0s in them yeah. Drop valves in both of them. Yeah. So this is the original three pointer that I put back in. Yeah. And it's gonna be, you know, good and reliable. Good and reliable, yeah. Doesn't I mean, tank nothing. It's yeah, super it's healthy. amazing, amazing the block car. Was replaced by a BMW from the factory. Oh wow. Yeah, but because of the Nikasil. Yeah. Uh, what was it called? The Nikasil. Was that like a defect from the yeah where yeah. it just starts? Because America had very high lead content in their gas. That's BMW right. BMW didn't really. Uh, designed the block lining to be comparable for that so the lead reacted with it and yeah. they would lose compression so this one got the elusil alumisil or whatever it's called yeah. and it's way more they're just they Amazing. don't have issues yeah so this car is slowly but surely getting back on its legs as you can see yeah leo's been focused a lot on the the braking system and everything but the main thing is leo actually had this fuel tank dropped because he had to do some restoration on this fuel tank which right now looks so amazing uh and he's done a little bit more fabrication welding on this which also looks great and the main thing is the preservation of it you know you obviously like you weld things but you gotta paint it and protect it so later on hopefully we'll do what fluid film huh yeah. sponsored <laughs> not sponsored but <laughs> fluid film you know anything if you protect this stuff with like you know oil grease whatever this will never ever rust out again so it's it's not just so about good, restoration but preservation for you as well too. move out of the midwest yeah <laughs> yeah get out of midwest you know or you know don't rust these uh, don't drive these amazing cars in the in snow and salt you know that's the worst thing you can do to these amazing machines yeah 
Yeah, so much fun. You can't not drive them. Yeah. You, gotta, you just gotta, you gotta drive them, maintain them, yep. repeat. Yeah. If you want to really enjoy them. Exactly. I don't like letting them sit in the garage all the time, so mm -hmm. they put twenty, thirty thousand miles a year on each. All of yeah. Them. Yeah. And there's so much, such fun cars. Yeah. But anyway, so this is Leo's latest. Uh, car the latest car that he acquired actually this one is really fun it's a 1995 525i and he basically saved this car from the junkyard because the guy just wanted to kind of scrap it it's all taken apart pretty much but the main thing that it's missing is the engine trans which leo is planning to install in the future and yeah i see that guy crazy guy get out of there <laughs> yes <Yeah>, spray them <laughs> yeah so it's it's kansas baby you gotta deal with all these bugs and everything but anyway so this is a really cool car it's black on black really really like it and uh leo has a bunch of uh things that he's gonna do but this car is gonna be later later on you know just there's, there's other things to focus on at the moment yeah get him with that pb blaster yeah, yeah. <laughs> lubricate, the, lubricate the, the yeah the hinges <laughs> oh yeah but ah it's fine but yeah this is the the other car so guys uh just wanted to share what's been going on and yeah this car is also gonna be saved so yeah don't forget to save and love your amazing old school machines because they don't make them like they used to ain't that the truth leo yeah, i know you're yeah. focused on all the wasps right right now but yeah no, it's off now. <laughs> yeah nice yeah same well let's get uh back to working on this car Leonid. Yeah, it's still drying. So. Still drying the reservoir? Yeah, we cleaned the reservoir on it, yeah, waiting so for it to we're drive. Just waiting, right now. waiting game. Cut this much off for a little extra. Hard line here, we just gotta connect it to here, yep. and then we gotta build this hard line from here to here. Yeah, that's not too bad though. Yeah. You already did the like majority of it. Yeah, right? I did the hard part. We did some welding too. Yeah. Nice. Better than the whole. Yeah. And you you said you had the fuel tank out, right? You were yeah. sending me pictures? Yeah. You refurbished it? Yeah. Nice. And everything above it. Um, how dare you paint Made in Germany sticker? <laughs> I didn't paint it. You, that's, what the that's, hell? That's, that's burnt rubber. Mm, burnt rubber from yeah. burnouts? Yes. Liar. I think, I think it's a rubberized Look, undercoating. Wheels that's... turn this way, right? And Do it they? looks back this way. Yeah? Physics. No. I think it's the physics of a rubberized undercoating. I know Mercedes owners don't know much about like doing fun stuff and burnouts and yeah. stuff with your diesels, but as Beamer guys. As Beamer guys, you don't get the diesel power though diesel torque diesel torque diesel torque and diesel fun you know 80 horsepower mm -hmm. 200 torque and you don't get that reliability 200 insert chmuff, unit chmuff. here's torques yeah you've ever done wheel bangs on e34 in the back yeah, on the, not on the back the front yeah the back ones i heard are fun Lenny. no the back ones don't go out that much so that's a good part but you know it's all rusty. about preventive maintenance Leonid. we should do the wheel bearings in the back just for fun off. <laughs> ABS delete. I didn't do that. I found it like that, so yeah. I'm gonna fix it. 